how do planes fly? Morning class, so today we're going to talk about planes and how they fly. Cool, eh? Oh, I went on a plane to Tonga. Oh, cool, Talia. So how does a plane fly? So the shape of a plane is very important. It has two big wings that usually curve up at the end, and the plane has a tail that keeps the plane stable when it's flying, and engines that push the plane through the air. For a plane to take off, it needs to travel very fast down the runway. So for a commercial plane, it usually travels around 320 kilometers per hour to take off. This allows for the air to travel under the wings and create lift. Once the plane is in the air, it needs four forces to work together. Thrust, lift, weight, drag. Thrust keeps the plane moving forward. Smaller planes usually have propellers that spin really fast. For the bigger planes, the air gets pushed through the jet engines. Lift keeps the plane up, which is why the wings are shaped the way they are. With the tips of the wings usually curved up to reduce drag, this allows air to pass over the wing faster, which decreases the air pressure. If the air pressure above the wing is lower than the air pressure under the wing, it creates lift. Drag is the force that slows the plane down. For a plane to stay in flight, the plane needs to have stronger lift and thrust, then stronger drag. Weight is what is caused by gravity. It forces the plane downwards. The plane is designed to distribute the weight evenly rather than being heavier at the front, middle or rear of the plane. When all the forces work together, the plane flies through the air more easily. Lift and weight work together to lift the plane up and push the plane down, while thrust and drag work together to speed the plane up and slow it down. Cool, eh? Oh, that's the bell. See you after lunch.